Hello all, this is The One Nerd. I want to welcome you to another edition of The One Nerd Showcase. Today we're going to be showcasing something a little bit different than I've done before, but something that I hope to do uh, more in the future with these sorts of things. Back in the day, um, before you could just release a game demo directly onto the console and have somebody download it, and before you could release game demos and discs included with magazines and the like, Game companies had to get a little bit creative in order to get the word out about their uh, games and to have uh, customers or potential customers uh, take a look at the game and see if they wanted to buy it. Toys R Us was one of those places that did something like this. And they had to release VHS tapes. That's right. Little VHS tapes that they uh, gave out as uh, little promos to tell people, hey, this game's coming out, other games are coming out, you might want it, we'll give you a little... Uh, discount, give you a little uh, uh, deal if you sign up for it. And Toys R Us had this one right here for Banjo-Kazooie, and that's the tape we're going to be looking at today. This Banjo-Kazooie promo tape uh, goes over a little bit of the basics of uh, Banjo-Kazooie, including uh, characters, locations, items, things like that, all lovingly narrated by none other than the critic himself, John Lovitz. It's a very interesting tape. It's very short, but it's a very interesting tape. Uh, so I hope that you'll enjoy it uh, as we uh, cut to it uh, now. If you do enjoy it, I do hope that uh, you will leave a uh, thumbs up on the video, comment what you thought about it, or if you had one of these tapes uh, back in the day when you originally got Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, and of course, subscribe for more stuff like this, uh, exactly like these uh, showcases. I do plan to get more of these promo tapes because these are very interesting. Let me tell you, uh, let me tell you what. Uh, but uh, enough of me rambling. Let's get right to the uh, the tape. This is the Banjo Kazooie Toys R Us promo tape. First, there was Donkey and Diddy Kong, then Diddy and Dixie, Dixie and Kitty, Mario and Yoshi. Okay, okay, you get the point. So what's the big deal? Well, listen up, because there's a new dynamic duo from the creators of Donkey Kong Country and GoldenEye that's ready to kick some serious excitement into Nintendo 64. It's Banjo-Kazooie! The coolest headbanging, beak-busting, sky-flying, rock-hopping, egg-shooting, tag-teaming duo in a new game with so many thrills, chills, spells, and splats, you won't be able to put it down. So what's the story? Here's the deal. Tootie, Banjo's little sister, has been kidnapped by the very ugly and evil witch Gruntilda, who has snatched Tootie because she's just too beautiful. Seems Witchy Poo's got this plan to suck the beauty out of Tootie with this super duper wart smoothing thingamajig and transfer it to herself. Yeah, right. Anyhow, Banjo and Kazooie's mission is to travel through nine mysterious worlds within Gruntilda's lair, uncover secret moves, battle evil, and collect puzzle pieces and a whole bunch of other things that will help you help them bring Tootie home. Puzzled? See, each world has ten puzzle pieces hidden somewhere within it. These pieces fit into jigsaw puzzles hanging around Gruntilda's lair. Once you insert the pieces into a particular jigsaw, then and only then can you advance to another world. Pretty easy, huh? Don't count on it! Luckily, in their battle against evil, our heroes can get help from a number of different characters, like Mumbo Jumbo, whose magical powers can turn Banjo and Kazooie into all kinds of creatures that help them do things and go places they couldn't before. Then there's Bottles the Mole. This Bucktooth Shrew is full of secrets to help you learn new moves and get out of trouble. Plus, there's all kinds of collectible objects like music notes. Collect enough of these and you can move freely around Gruntilda's lair. Or Jinjos. Find five of these cute little whatevers in each world and you get a puzzle piece. And don't forget to stock up on eggs for ammunition. These will allow you to defeat and ward off enemies. Plus, there are golden banjo statuettes. Good for a free life. Red feathers to help you fly. Golden feathers to make you invincible and honeycomb pieces help you store up energy. You'll need all these things and more where you're headed because Banjo and Kazooie are about to visit some very strange worlds. Check it out! Mumbo's Mountain. Mumbo's Mountain is where it all begins with beak-busting, egg-tossing, mumbo-jumbo fun. Oh. 
If you want adventure, this is the place to find it. Plus, you'll learn all kinds of new moves and more. But be warned, this world is full of all sorts of monkey business, where one wrong move can mean certain doom. Treasure Trove Cove. Forget your beach towel, because this world is no place to get a tan, as our heroes soon realize exploring Treasure Trove Cove. The tide is out, and some really crabby characters have come ashore. It's up to you to navigate through this world, where the coast isn't always clear. And although it looks inviting, a swim here could be your last! Planker's Cavern! Rusty old pipes and polluted pools of water certainly won't leave you with a false sense of hope when you enter Clanker's Cavern. This vile underworld is full of some really fishy characters that would love to get their jaws on you. So don't hold your breath, because you're about to encounter plenty of underwater challenges and razor-sharp obstacles that'll suck the air right out of you and leave you gasping for more. Bubble Gloop Swamp! Don't bother drying off before you enter this next world, because things begin to get a little slimy. Bubble Gloop Swamp is a dark, smelly, and dangerous place where all the piranhas, poisonous swamp frogs, and crocodiles have a bone to pick with Banjo and Kazooie. It'll take every bit of your imagination to get through this swamp, because everyone here has you on the menu! Freeze Easy Peak. Don't plan on chilling out on Freeze Easy Peak, where one wrong step will send you into a lake so cold it will take your breath away. And if that's not bad enough, try dealing with a snowman with an ice cream headache. This place is no summer camp because the things Banjo and Kazooie encounter here will send more than shivers up your spine. Oof, get numb just thinking about it. Colby's Valley. Well, it's out of the refrigerator and into the fire as you plunge into Gobi's Valley. This desert inferno is so hot, even Gobi himself is finding the heat too much to take. And this coming from a camel? Stay alert in this pressure cooker full of superheated sand and mummified hands, for the next mirage you see may be your last. Monster Mansion! Night has fallen permanently around the creepiest house in existence. This place will definitely bring back the nightmares. Well, actually, the dead too, as you match wits with a whole house full of ghosts, skeletons, bats, and worse. You're bound to bump into some creepy characters as Banjo and Kazooie move around this haunted house where goosebumps will be the least of your problems. Rusty Bucket Bay! Next, our heroes find themselves aboard the HMS Gruntilda, and there'll be no mistaking this ship for the love boat in Rusty Bucket Bay. Everything on board seems to have something against you, and if you're not careful, you'll definitely go down with the ship. Be on your guard as you explore this old derelict, from the funnels up on deck to the crates in the cargo hold, because you may meet a fate much worse than walking the plank. Arrgh! Click, clock, wood. If you think it's almost over, guess again. Because even if you make it through click, clock, wood, the most challenging world of all, you'll go on to meet the wicked, warty wench of the West, and that's no bull. You'll have to use your noggin in this world because you'll definitely meet up with some nutty characters and familiar faces as you prepare for your final confrontation with Gruntilda. Okay, so I hope you're beginning to get the picture. It's all about helping Banjo and Kazooie get from one world to the other, decoding all the clues and characters, finding all the puzzle pieces, and saving little sister. 
Not that I don't think you're up to the challenge, but here's a few quick tips you might find useful as you explore each world. First, be sure to write down everything Brentilda says, because you will need it to answer questions as you move through the game. Plus, each time you play the game, the answers may be different, so listen up and take notes. Second, find Cheetle the spell book in Gruntilda's lair. Cheetle gives you codes for red and gold feathers and blue eggs. You'll find him first behind the entrance to Bubble Gloop Swamp. Finally, use your gold feathers to defeat the ghostly ghouls in Mad Monster Mansion, instead of just trying to avoid them. These ought to help you out some on your quest to rescue Tootie and meet face to face with the evil witch, because there's no pair better suited than Banjo and Kazooie to kick Gruntilda's warty butt. Ew. They may not be the Caped Crusaders, but they're twice the fun. So what are you waiting for? The bat sign? Banjo-Kazooie. That's the name to remember. The best new game since Donkey teamed up with Diddy. Coming June 29th, only from Nintendo and Rare. Check it out now. Available at your nearest Toys R Us. Don't delay, or you might be the one left standing there with egg on your face. Also coming for Nintendo 64. For the biggest selection of games and accessories for Nintendo 64, there's only one place to go. Toys R Us, your video game headquarters.